What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a liquefied background using Photoshop. So guys, before the video does start, I would just like to say if we can break 250 likes on this video, I will be giving you guys a free pack in the description down below, which will contain a lot of these stocks. So if you do want some of my best and personal favourite stocks, then make sure to leave a like on the video and I will be sure to give you guys that at 250 likes. Anyways guys, with all of that said, let me show you how to actually make this. So uh, first of all, there's actually two ways you can do it. Um, I'm going to be showing you the first one, which is the easiest one, which only actually involves Photoshop and then the second one involves using other images. So the first step is to go to file new and select a 1280 by 720 document. Of course I already have mine so I don't need to do so and just make sure that you have a plain black background so I'm just gonna go and make sure this is plain black. If it isn't already just double click on your layer and make sure it is selected as black. After you guys have done this you want to go over to filter you want to go down to render and then once you're under render you want to select clouds and as you can see this will immediately give you some clouds on the screen now this is already a nice texture itself but of course we need to make the liquify texture now so now you want to select filter here at the top go down to liquify if you don't have liquify there then of course you have an older version of photoshop so make sure you do have liquify just select it and as you can see it will open up a new tab on your photoshop now what you want to do is make sure you have the first option selected which is the forward warp tool once you have that selected you want to go over to the right hand side where the brush size is and you want to select 262 it doesn't have to be that exact number but as long as it is around that size then it will be good so now what you want to do after doing that is just use your brush tool and just literally all i can describe this is going ham on your mouse literally just click everywhere and as you can see if you make circles and just mess around with the background it will create this nice liquify effect and you just need to do this for i'd say around about a minute maybe just make sure that it does look good uh, you don't even have to do it for a minute as you can see it's already looking like a liquefied background you just want to make sure that you can't see any clouds of course and when you are making this if you do get part of the background showing then all you have to do is click on your mouse and move it to the right and as you can see this will obviously push it out so you don't really see the background but once you do it for a while you will get this effect and once you have finished you just need to press ok and as you can see you will already have this liquify background so once you have done that to change the color all you have to do is go to the bottom right hand side select gradient map and now it will open up a separate tab on your photoshop just double click on that it will open up the gradient editor in my opinion it works best if you use black and then a separate color so say for instance black and red and as you can see this is what the liquify effect will look like so the second way to do this is just by using any image so as you can see here i have an image of a wave so i'm going to right click that go into photoshop and just press ctrl v and once i have done this i can go to filter select liquify and i can do the exact same thing once again you may have to do it for a little longer just to get the effect but it does the exact same thing it of course just uses different colors so you may need to do this like i said for a longer period of time but if you just keep making sort of circle motions you will get the same liquify effect so guys that is it it's as simple as that i know i get a lot of questions asked about how to actually make this effect and now you guys know so hopefully now i will see you guys using this effect a lot more because in my opinion it really does stand out in thumbnails anyways guys with all of that said hopefully you did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like of course like i said before if we can break 250 likes on this video i will give you guys a pack with all of these in anyways guys like i said hopefully you did enjoy the video this has been visual or james and i'm out peace